Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Monica Rea, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this dress. The inspiration for it was to have an everyday dress that was still super cute, very comfortable, and had a strong 50s vibe. So to make this dress, I used this pattern, which is the Butterick B6018, and I used View B. So before we jump into it, I want to share with you guys what I did differently from what the pattern suggests. So first of all, I did not use the suggested fabrics, which were to be broadcloth or a linen or some type of woven fabric, light to medium weight. I decided to go with a Ponty knit fabric, which has a four way stretch. So because of choosing that fabric type, I didn't have to install the side zipper that it originally suggested to do. Also, I added pockets at the side seams and a minimal difference that I did, it suggested to do eight shank buttons down the front here, but I only used five uh, regular buttons because they're the vintage buttons from my great grandmother and my grandmother. So I really wanted to use those. Okay, now we can get into it. Let's go. Okay, to start, I'm going to trace all the pattern pieces and then cut them out and start with the bodice. So here I'm just going to start sewing the darts on each of the bodice pieces. And one thing I really love about these darts on this pattern is that they're pretty well placed. They really add a nice contoured fit. It doesn't, you know, like some, some patterns, when it comes right out, if you follow it exactly how the pattern says, sometimes it seems a little boxy or too big, but these darts and this pattern overall, I feel, has a great, great fit with minimal adjustments. And here's all the darts done. This is the front bodice and here's the back bodice. I'm just gonna sew the two front bodice pieces together at the center seam. And here we have it. I didn't show, but I also stay stitched up at the shoulder seams just to help reinforce that. And here I'm just stay stitching the lower edge of the bodice. So now it's time to attach the bodice front and the bodice back and I'm going to start with the shoulder seams and of course they will be French seamed. Here we are with the shoulders all completed, French seams and darts sewn in. And now we're gonna move on to the side seams, which you see here, it's a little uneven. So what I'm gonna do is make that side bust start. I'm going to make it a little deeper so the seams match up better. So I'll be back with that because we can't have this unevenness. And there we go, problem solved. We fixed the dart here and sewed uh, French seams for the side seams. And next, we're going to place the facing. This is the facing that's gonna go along the neckline on the inside. And this will just help the neckline, one, give it a very nice polished look as well as structure. And onto the sleeves. So what I like to do is to go ahead and hem the sleeves up first and then sew them together. And now we're just going to put them on. So here's what they look like, all sewn up and put on to the bodice.
And now onto the skirt. So here I've already sewn the two front panels of the skirt together. And now I'm just gonna sew all of the front panels. There's four panels for the front and four panels for the back of the skirt. And here they all are. So this is the back and this is the front. And now my favorite part, didn't forget this time, I'm gonna put pockets. So I just pinned up the sides and cut out a rough draft pretty much of pockets, made sure my hands fit in those. And I'm just gonna stitch around these openings here for the pockets. I can tell already that I'm gonna love this dress so, so much. This fabric wasn't too bad to work with. I'm really excited so far with how it's looking. And now that we've got those seams sewn up, I'm just now going to sew in the pockets. And here they are, all sewn up and in their beautiful pockety glory. All right, and now it's time to attach the skirt to the bodice. So what I'm doing here is going around to each of the seams and pinning them to make sure that all of the seams line up perfectly. And then we're gonna go over to the sewing machine. Okay, so the next time I make this dress, I have to take in account the fact that that pattern was not made for a four-way stretch fabric. So I'm either going to go down a couple of sizes so that it fits at the waist on its own without the help of a belt, or I'm going to get a little more technical and modify each of the skirt panels around the waistline and also the bodice. But either way, I'm gonna make this dress again in the future because I love it. And here is the finished product. I really love this dress. The fabric is super, super comfortable and it's amazing that you can just pull this on and go. There's like no fuss whatsoever. I can't wait to make another one. And it's a nice length, it's down just below the knee. And here's a close up of the sleeves and the neckline. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me on today's sewing adventure. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and also the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.